down there. I've got that. I've got that in my face in the bottom of my face. But all of those got another one. It says Red River Valley, but it says, Famous Arthur Valley, you leave Yeah. And it's a Red River Valley, too. Oh, kind of. Red River Valley. Yeah. This is, uh, is the difference in this is go, Red River Valley goes this way. Well, this one goes.
Thank you very much. Bless your heart. We appreciate that. Thank you, George. That's fine. Fine old time. Old time fiddling. <laughs> We're glad to see you. If nobody's welcomed you to Silver Dollar City, let us welcome you to Silver Dollar City, one of the most unique spots on earth. And we appreciate you coming. I know you've had fun. Some of you look like it feels awful good to sit down. Yeah, we hope we hope it does feel good. And it's a wonderful day. We've had a good time, and we hope we'll not stop that good time right here. If you see something you like, pat your hands together, because the more you clap your hands, the higher we'll jump. We'd like to start off with a little number here called I Love Them Hills of Old Missouri.
Thank you, darling. I, I appreciate you, uh, anybody getting up there. We call that jig dancing in the Ozark. And we, all, we never said howdy to you, did we? We'd like to say howdy to you, so let's everybody say howdy! 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 Yeah. howdy. howdy. <laughs> We're glad to have you, and we appreciate you all coming. We, we would like to find out real quick a little bit about uh, where some of you are from. We always have someone one here from the state of Kansas. We got anybody here from Kansas? There they are. How about Oklahoma? All right. How about Arkansas? <laughs> How about the state of Texas? Hey, welcome to the United States, honey. We're glad. No, we're just kidding you. We, we love, uh, love you from Texas. We kid Texas people because they can take it, brother. Yeah, they can dish it out, Jerry said. We'd like to, to uh, where, honey? Arizona. Arizona, all right. I tell you, there's so many of us from so many different places. When I count three, all of you holler out where you're from. One, two, three. We've been there. Oh, we love you for, for coming regardless of where you're from. We don't know where to mark at. I'm right here, what do you need? We need to sing a song. Oh, that's saying, man. All right, we're going to do, uh, uh, Mark, we had a request to do this, so Mark sings uh, one of the verses. I know one between the two. If we don't happen to know the same one, <laughs> well, we'll sing this song, this song called I Wonder How the Old Folks Are at Home. <laughs>
If y'all are there, Gene Brown, all right. Hey, Gene, <laughs> good to see you, buddy. Boy, I've had more fun this summer. I've been gone 26 years from this country. I was born and raised here, and I've been here, and I've had more fun and met so many dear friends that I haven't seen in so many years. And uh, I used to, I used to wonder how old you had to be when you hadn't seen nobody in 25 years. I, I used to hear my dad say, well, I haven't seen him in 25 years. Now I know what he's talking about. <laughs> this, this, is a, this is a song that, that we'd like to do. Uh, I did get to write, now let's see if all these, sometimes uh, I eat crackers. Darling, <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> yeah, get the rest of them. <laughs> All right. This is called Sitting on Top of the World. Three, four, five. <laughs> Now she 
my lady from Carroll County. How are you, Charlie? Charlie's music right back there. Okay, play a little bit of the Carroll County, and then I want to get the dope. <laughs> recording. This is a little cassette tape here with 10 songs in it. If you'd like to take uh, some of our music home with you, why we have it available here. There's 10 songs in there, some gospel singing, some picking and grinning, kind of like you heard here. A lot of, uh, a lot of uh, good old time singing. Kind of a memorabilia of your trip to Silver Dollar City. Uh, if you'd like to, you could just take us home with you in person. If you've got some fried chicken or something there, we'll go with you awful cheap. But if you'd like to have one of our souvenir uh, recordings, while well, we'll have them available. This lady's going to buy us out before we get started. Uh, get her one there, Mark, and, and uh, I'll finish telling the folks. If you'd like to have one, we'll have them available here at the uh, gazebo as soon as we get to Chicken and Grin. And I'll, I want to tell you a little story. I promised the folks I'd tell this. Uh, uh, there, there was a couple having dinner at a cafe and there was another couple sitting next to them so all of a sudden the couple on the right noticed the man sitting with the lady on the left he started sliding down out of his seat he slid down and he slid down he finally slid off of his seat onto the floor and slid right under the table the lady leaned over and said ma'am your husband just slid on, off of his chair onto the floor under the table. She said, that wasn't my husband. My husband just came in the door. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I like that. Here, here's a song. Here, here's a song that, uh, that we, <laughs> we would like to do for you. We'd probably get more requests for this. Any of the rest of you that would like to have one of our souvenir recordings, we'll have them available right here as soon as we get through. This here is one of the most requested instrumentals that we get, and it's called the Foggy Mountain Breakdown. <laughs> Thank you. 
can't believe we're out of time. Just keep dancing. Yeah. Have y'all had a lot of fun with us this afternoon? Oh, yeah. We've had a lot of fun. I can't believe we're, that we're out of time. We've had so much fun. Seems like when you're having a good time, why, time just slips away from you before you know it. And we, we hope that you've enjoyed our little get-together. Like I said, if you'd like to have one of our souvenir recordings, why, come right on down. We'd be happy to autograph them for you. Thank you for coming to Silver Dollar City. God bless you. Have a good rest of the day in Silver Dollar City. Another nice hand for these youngers on the stage. Let's hear it for them. one too. Hey everybody, come on in. Find yourself a seat. Looks like we've almost got a full house here. Well, we've got a few seats available right down here. Come on in. Find yourself a seat. We're the Horse Creek Band. We're going to get our show to roll in here. We want you to all stick around if you like some good old time jig dancing. We've got some fine dancers here today from all over the country. and We're going to have them dance and we'll do a little picking and a grinning and some good old time singing and have a little humor as we go along. Got a lot of requests here today ranging from Cajun music to gospel. So we're going to Keep right on a rolling, we'll get it all in there. We're gonna turn things over right now to fiddling Fred Stone King. Thank you, folks. Thank you very much. A great big howdy to everybody. Welcome to Silver Dollar City. It's showtime at the Valley Theater and the Horse Creek Band up here for the next few minutes. Fred Stone King kicking off the show there on the fiddle with the Gold Rush. And that was Frank Fleetwood doing some jig dancing for us from Ava, Missouri. We got a whole bunch of dancers here today, so stick around. We got plenty of dancing coming up. And we want to remind you all, if the feeling hits you as we go along, why don't hold back, get right out there and shake a leg. We want you to let your hair down and have a good time at Silver Dollar City. You got your hair down? Oh, well, he does. He does have his hair down. I know what you mean. Anyway, right now, moving along with the show, we got a fellow here that's got a banjo. He's going to clog it and sing for us. Larry Slade. Oh, Joe thank Ryan. you, thank you. want to say a big howdy to you folks. I'm glad to see you out. Glad to see a lot of our friends out, out here visiting us. We appreciate that. I'm sure happy to be here myself. I'm just as happy as a rabbit in a pee patch. Right? Right. Now, I want to do you a little number. I hope you like it. It's one called 
Hand me down my walking cane. All right. I was broke, got thrown in jail. I was broke, got thrown in jail. I was broke, got thrown in jail. Had no one to go my mail. All my sins are taken away. y'all enjoyed that old number. I'm sure glad to be here, but I do have to apologize first thing to all you folks, and, and especially you boys. I'm very sorry that I was running late to get you here. You were late for the show, Larry. You're never late. What on earth was you doing dragging well, you late for the show? I'm very sorry, but it ain't my fault. Whose fault is it then? Well, sir, it's that girl that works right up here at the general store up here at Silver Dollar City. It's her fault, and I'm running late today. You know how she is, Butch. She's got all these outfits she likes to wear. Every time she goes to a square dance, she's got a little square dance suit oh, I've she seen wears. Her that square dance. Yeah. And uh, every time she she runs around Silver Dollar City here a lot, she calls it jogging. Jogging. She, every morning runs around. When she goes jogging, she's got a jogging suit she wears. Well, do you know what she had on up no, there today? What'd she have on today, Larry? <laughs> well, sir, it was her birthday, so you figure that. Oh. But it's a wonder I'm here at all, folks. <laughs> well, I'm glad to be here, and we want to get things moving right along. Here's our MC of the Horse Creek Band. Here's Butch Gregory. All right. Yes, we're glad you finally made it anyway. It's better to be late than never. I'll say that. We're going to dedicate a tune now to Mr. Frank Horvath, who's here. He says that he loves Cajun music. That could just mean one thing. We're going to call out the man with the French harp, Greg Becker. He's got his harps tuned up and raring to go. And, Greg, you tell the folks what kind of a Cajun number you're going to do for him here. All right? Well, let's do one called Diggy Liggy Lie here. All right.
Oh, thank you, Greg. That's mighty fine. I was talking to Frank before the show. He said he comes to Silver Dollar City to hear some good Cajun music once in a while, and you never let them down when you get out the old French art there, Greg. I like it, Cajun music because that's where my girlfriend's from. Your girlfriend is from? Where's she from? Louisiana. Louisiana? I didn't know your girlfriend yeah, was from Louisiana. She's down in the swamp. What's her name? Bureau. Bulo. Bureau. Bureau. Are you saying bureau? Yeah. Bulo. Bulo. No, no, what, but Freddie's saying bureau. Bureau's her name. <laughs> I've never heard Frank tell knows her. I never, Frank knows her. Do you know her down there in Louisiana? Yeah. Wait a minute. Fred, tell him what a bureau is. That's no woman. Bureau. But a bureau is something about this tall. Right. Virgil knows that. Everybody At least that one. That why. Frank knows that. I know what a bureau with is. With big drawers. Great big drawers. Now, she can't help that. <laughs> Me neither. That's her. <laughs> Well, how'd you find out she's from Louisiana? Well, I was talking to her the other night, and I asked her where she's from. She said, Louisiana. And I said, well, how come your feet's big? Well, she said, and I was a little bitty old girl. I used to walk around down in the swamp barefooted. Oh, yeah. The and swamp. mother dudes up between her toes, spread her feet out. Spread her feet out? Yeah. I said, you used to sit in that mud, too, didn't you? <laughs> 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> She'll kill you, bud. <laughs> Boy, oh, her her cousin just is just the opposite of her though. You mean she's got a cousin? Yeah, is she that big skinny? 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 Oh, that girl skinny. How skinny is she? Well, she has to ruffle up the hairs on her leg to get her stock to stay up. <laughs> She's skinny, boy. Oh, my. But <laughs> turn sideways, stick her tongue out, look like a big zipper. <laughs> oh, <laughs> my. We'll have to keep her eyes out for her and watch out that she don't get after us. Well, I've seen Luke Sanity. I see him up there. Folks, we got an old boy that's going to come down here and join us on stage. Yeah. He's 70 years old, a genuine Ozark hillbilly. He's one of our cleanup men here at Silver Dollar City. I hope you folks have noticed how clean we keep apart. Anyway, he's going to come down here and jig dance for us. Fred, give him a good old hoedown. Luke Stanley, here he comes. <laughs> You, Luke. Did you folks notice he entered the stage sweeping? He's leaving yeah, the stage yeah, sweeping. Yeah. Going right up through the path there. We still got a lot more dancers. I see Virgil Welch is here today and Frank. And uh, what about our friends? Oh, over here, Henry and Verna Ford. We don't want to leave them out. We'll get them all up here and have us a good old hoedown jig dance in a little bit. But right now, I want to find out, have we got any country music fans out here today? Anybody like good old country music out in our crowd? Oh, oh all right. We got quite a few country music fans here. So Buffalo Bud, Without further ado, let's get you up here and have you sing these folks a good old country song. All right. All right. Is any Okies here today? Okies? Right there. Well, good. There's some out out there. Right there. Stick around. We're going to do you a song about Texas. Oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>
San Antonio Rose. Thank you, bud. Boys, we'll do one more, and then we'll call out all these dancers that haven't had a chance to dance yet for us today. But, Larry, I thought I might pick one on the banjo, and we've got a big free show coming up tonight that I'm sure some of these folks would like the details on. How about you fill them in? Oh, on, sure. I'd be glad to tell you all about that. That's a Silver Dollar City Jubilee. That'll be tonight at 6.30, right behind us here in Echo Hollow. And that's a fine show starring Rodney Dillard and the Dillards. You want to go down and see that tonight? And it's free to all you folks. It's a lot of fine picking and singing. Uh, Beverly Cotton, D.A. Calloway, a lot of special guests, a lot of good musicians, and a lot of dancing down there. So that's 6.30 tonight down in Echo Hollow, right here behind us. 6 o'clock tonight, we'll have a closing ceremony on the square. Then you'll then have 30 minutes to get down and see the show down here in Echo Hollow. You've got plenty of time to see it. It'll be a nice night tonight. Right now, though, I believe Butch Gregory's going to come around with the old five-string banjo and play you a good old tune on the banjo. Y'all like to hear a little tune on the banjo today? All right. Yeah. What, you play? what you got there, Butch? All right. We're going to do a little bit of the Lonesome Road Blues here, all right? enjoyed the banjo playing there. That's a old tune we get a lot of requests for. Uh, going down the road feeling bad, and that's our MC right there, Butch Gregory. Mighty Thank fine. you. Thank you, boys. Give some good backup on that. Going down the road feeling bad. Never left his hand. No, my fingers never left my hand. It was all I could do to keep them on. Hey, we've got a whole bunch of dancers here that haven't had a chance to dance. We're going to call them. Virgil, you can get right up here with us if you'd like. we got Frank Fleetwood down here and Henry and Verna Ford off to the side. Who else have we missed? Is there anybody else out there that feels like dancing? This is your chance to get in on Bud. Is Bud going to dance? What you talking about? Oh, hold it now. Anyway, 
We got Fred Stone King with the Who Down Fiddle. Fred, if you would please give all these folks a good old dance tune, and we'll call them out and have a big old Who Down dance. All right. <laughs> Frank Fleetwood there. Yes, sir. Okay, we'll get that for you. We got a request voice for Uncle Penn here in a little. From two different requests for it. I, I'll tell you, the gentleman back there wanted to hear it from Lincoln, Missouri, and Frank Fleetwood wants to hear it. So stick with us, and we'll do that, Uncle Penn, for you here in just a minute. But you know, we went all this length of time, and Greg Becker hasn't had a chance to sing yet. That's just almost a crime to let the show go this far without him a singing. So we're going to turn the microphone over to him. And I want to tell you just a little bit about Greg. He's our root and herb specialist here at Silver Dollar City. He goes out in the woods this time of year, especially. And, uh, I want to thank you for the mullet plant you brought me the other day, Greg. Yeah, he, I didn't say watermelon. I said mullet plant. Don't you remember the other day I had that sore throat? Greg brought me in the mullet plant, and it cured me. So I want to thank you for that, Greg. So anyway, you go ahead and sing the folks a good song. Why, thank you there, Butch. Sure, I'd like to. Why don't we do... Uh, one, go down south here and do a little bit of the Alabama Jubilee.
Thank you, Greg. Greg Becker, all the way down to the Alabama Jubilee and back in time for the Silver Dollar Jubilee tonight. Hey, uh, Larry, we got some good folks here, uh, Mr. and Mrs. Carr, and uh, she was originally from up there on Horse Creek in Southern Illinois. I was visiting with them uh, before the show a while ago, and she named off some people that uh, we know up in there. We did a show back there in November. We went up to Southern Illinois. If uh, there are any of you folks out there that need any entertainment for a uh, club or a civic organization or it's a fundraiser, see us at the show. divorces, it don't make any difference. <laughs> now listen, we play for weddings, what are you talking about a divorce? Well, they pay more to get out than they do to get in. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, if you're interested in having us come to your hometown during the off-season, we will be happy to talk with you about that after the show, and we'll bring the whole gang here and put on a good old hillbilly show for you and see what kind of crowd we can raise, raise the rafters, and have a good time. But anyway, this is their anniversary here today, and they're spending it here at Silver Dollar City, and we sure want to welcome them and hope they have a good time. Boys, we've had two requests for Uncle Penn, so I think we ought to get that here. We'll do that for Frank, and then also the gentleman from Lincoln, Missouri, back there asked for it. Larry, Larry Sledge did a little bit of Uncle Pam for us. We had two requests for that. Well, we've had a couple of requests for this tune here also. There were some people here asking if we knew any of the good old Irish tunes, old Irish hornpipes and so on. Greg, that's pretty well your department, so you come right on up here and tell the folks what you've got cooked up for them here. Um, no, it's not the heel and hornpipe, Fred. <laughs> this is uh, one called the, the Liverpool or Sweet Horn. Sweet, right? <laughs>
Thank you, Greg. Greg Becker right there. Doing a fine yes, job. Yes, sir. Have y'all enjoyed the horse creek this afternoon? Yeah. Yeah. And I'll tell you what. I'm going to call my boy up here right now to sing one. All right. And I want to tell them that we have a way they can take us home with well, How can they take us home with them? Oh, we'll just load it and go with them. Oh, no, wait a minute. No. I know what you're doing. No, we, we've got some new recordings out. And you can get one of them. I'm going to go right back out there and sit with my wife. All right. While he's up here singing. And if any of you want any of them, never let it be said that I won't take your cash. Oh, <laughs> look out. Just now. meet me right out there and we'll do business. Right. Buffalo Buck telling you about our Horse Creek Band live on stage recording. We got some of them here, and he's got a... Bud, you had an old bag you had a while ago. Uh, what did what you do? Yeah, and I did want my wife to know what she must have left. Oh, home. Not that old bag, the bag that's got all the recordings. Oh, I got each sitting right back here. All right, well, you get that bag and you get on out there. You have the right credentials in your hand, and we'll do business. What's the right credentials? See, so I am. Well, what are you talking about? Cash and the fist, fool. <laughs> Yeah, see, Buffalo Bud, if you want one of the recordings, he'll fix you up. We're going to present to you right now, Buffalo Bud's son, Mr. Brad Short. He's got a good old tune picked out for us. Not the old girl. <laughs>
Brad Short. The Knoxville girl, mighty fine singing there, Brad. That was all right. Folks, we've got time for one more number. We're going to kind of end out with a big bang. All you dancers, get right on out here. Uh, what's all the commotion out there, bud? Oh, you still got a few recordings left? All right, you folks that want one of the recordings, see Buffalo Bud. He's got them right there. Anyway, Fred, if we could, we got Fred Stone King here at the Hoedown Fiddle. We're going to get him to give us a good old hoedown. We'll be closing out the show. Stick around for the teller of tall tales, cousins Happy Ann, and we'll be back at 315 with the next Horse Creek Band Show. <laughs> Jig dancing, fine fiddle playing from Fred Stone King. We hope you folks all enjoyed the Horse Creek Band. We're going to have to pack it up and go for right now. We'll be back at 3.15 with our next Horse Creek Band show, so come back and see us. We'll be visiting with y'all. If you'd like an autograph, we'll be happy to autograph for you and have a picture made. But right now, here's the teller of all. Those cousins have...